you guys. So this is my press car for the week. Super excited about it. This is the 2018 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport and it is has been just an absolute blast. It's been phenomenal. I mean, I just can't believe that I get to have this in my driveway for an entire week. It has been just a fantastic past six days. And so in this video, I really want to go over this car in its entirety. I'm going to take it for a drive, go over all the details. And before I begin, I want to give a big thank you to uh, Chevy North America for sending me this car. Um, if you guys go to my description box, um, it will take you straight to the configurator for the 2018 Chevy Corvette Grand Sport. You can customize it, build your dream Grand Sport, kind of have fun, play around with that a little bit. So be sure to click on that, guys, if you want to kind of, you know, spec out your, your own personal Grand Sport. And it's just kind of fun to see how much it'll cost you and stuff like that. But this one, as is, is stickered right at $92,000. So this is a fully specced out model this is going to have the z07 performance package so it is going to have like the carbon ceramic brakes so as you can see there you got the big brembo carbon ceramics this one has the red outline on the wheels which is an extra option uh, so it's also going to come with the michelin pilot super sport tires blacked out wheels which look really cool and you have massive 335 tires in the back so I can give you guys a good look at what these look like. Oh, those things are humongous as you can see. So you've got some pretty meaty wide tires back there and this specific color is going to be the blade silver metallic and I'll give you guys a little bit closer look at that paint coat. It looks phenomenal. There's so much flake in it and it just has, it makes these lines look extremely sharp very very cool um, you are gonna have your Grand Sport badge right here with your vent that's gonna let out some of the air that's flowing in through the front it's gonna come out here flow all down the side that's gonna cool the electronic limited slip differential up here you have another vent for downforce so this is gonna come in through here and then right in the back here you are gonna have if I can show you guys another vent right there where the air is gonna come out of so that's right behind the headlight and then you have another vent right down here that's just gonna release some of the air building up in the rear uh, fender wells. So it is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking car. And then of course you have your wing here on the back. So you've got those two kind of gurney flaps right here. The only difference between this and the Z06 is the Z06 has that plastic piece that runs right through the middle. So you don't get that, but I mean, for the most part, it still looks pretty cool. This does have the performance exhaust and you know, I'm not a huge silver person, but this car, you have to admit, looks incredible in silver. I mean, I've gotten so many looks in this car, it's just ridiculous. I mean, people literally think you're driving around in a Porsche or a Ferrari, like they have no clue. Um, which, you know, I live out here in Fort Worth, Texas, maybe it's just the, the locals, but I don't know. Um, coming along here to the side, you do have these carbon fiber rocker panels. I'll give you guys a closer look at that as well. You got that nice carbon fiber look running all down right there. Looks really good. And then coming up to the front, you are gonna have your carbon fiber splitter right here, which looks good as well. Now, the only bad thing about that, I have a very hard time not scraping the front of this car. Uh, it's so low and I mean, you have to watch out for things that you normally wouldn't worry about. That's the only complaint I have with the car, honestly. And then of course you have the Z07 style front grille. So if you come a little bit closer, you've got your air intakes on each side right here. That's gonna feed the brakes, cool off the brakes. And then right in front you have a camera, which is cool. So it helps you not to scrape the splitter. But I mean, if the curb's too big, there's really nothing you can do at that point. Um, and then once again, you have air that flows right through here. It's gonna come right out through the vent in the hood, which has this really pretty gloss black look to it. Um, LED lights, so the lights on here look fantastic and you have that nice little Corvette emblem right in the middle I don't know if you guys can see that there we go see a nice little Corvette emblem so it's kind of a, a neat little touch but so this is going to be your standard Chevy key guys I don't know if y'all can see that but it's pretty basic I mean it sounds silly to complain about a key but when you're paying $92,000 you want something more than just a square piece of plastic you know 
but you do have your lock, your unlock, your remote start, your alarm, and your trunk. So I'll open the trunk and show you guys what that looks like. Now, I'm actually pretty surprised at how much room you have back here. So if I lift this up, I mean, you've got a good amount of space back here. And as a matter of fact, I just sold a 40 inch Samsung TV and I was able to fit the whole thing back here as you guys can see in this video. But I mean, I had a little bit of room to spare on each side. I had about an inch on one side, about half an inch on the other side. And you know, it's, it's super practical. I mean, only in America you get a sports car that you can fit a 40 inch TV in the back, like no joke. Uh, you do have a cover here so that way no one can see what's in the back. You have a cover here so it stops things from kind of flying into the passenger and driver area. Uh, you have a 12 volt over here. You have a net right over here. So you can kind of put things in there. And then right over here, you're gonna have a little flap that opens up. It's actually pretty deep, so I can fit like half my hand down there. I mean, it's, it's a pretty practical car for sure. So let's go ahead and close that up. And that is electronic, so if you don't close it all the way, it will automatically close for you um, you do have your gas cap right here which you just click it to open it is the capless fuel which is pretty nice and of course you have your button right behind here that you're gonna press it's gonna open the door now this specific one has the adrenaline red interior with the microfiber suede insert so I'll give you all a good look at that it looks phenomenal and so coming over to the door, you're gonna have all kinds of leather surfaces over here. So this is gonna be all red leather with your red stitching. As you can see, it's a pretty supple feeling leather. Uh, this whole door panel right here is gonna be leather. You've got your red stitching coming across here. You've got more red leather coming here. You've got this really cool brushed aluminum which is gonna come all down here. Window controls, your button open the door. So you push that, that opens your door. You have your memory seat, so your memory seats will adjust your steering wheel, your seat, and your mirrors. It will not adjust the heads-up display. And then you have this button here, so you can adjust the seat to your perfect exiting position. And when you hold that, it basically positions you so that getting in and out of the car is a lot easier. And then of course your lock unlock and your Bose sound system. Um, you also have your Corvette emblem, which is going to be right across here. It doesn't illuminate or anything at night, it's just a standard. Uh, kick plate and then of course you have your full aluminum pedals, which are great You have your button here to open the hatch a button here to turn off the Wi-Fi which just says have Wi-Fi It's pretty pretty sweet um, Your interior lighting all of your mirror controls and your HUD controls, which I'll get to in just a second But I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at these seats which which look great So there you can see your microfiber suede inserts Running all along the top just right there. And you have your Chevy emblem right there as well. All of your red stitching. This red leather looks really good. You can get a good look at that stitching right there. It looks fantastic. So we'll go ahead and hop in, you guys. All right, so you do have the microfiber suede steering wheel in here, so you guys can see this is the microfiber suede steering wheel, which feels really good in your hands. I just don't know how that'll wear over time. If anyone does have any experience with that, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how that is. And then down here on the bottom, you have this sort of, I wanna say it's a faux carbon fiber. It feels kind of plasticky. So I'm just going to assume that it is fake carbon fiber. Go ahead and shut the door. Go ahead and start her up real quick. So foot in the brake. And it does sound really good. Um, I have definitely enjoyed uh, hearing that start up every single morning this week. So it's been quite a quite a good thing, and it sounds <laughs> sounds really really good. Um, but to the left, guys, you are going to have your speedometer um, right in the middle. You have your full LCD gauge cluster to the right. You have all of your um, gas, your uh, water temperature, things like that. I'll get to the middle screen in just a second. You have your cruise control over here to the left side. You have your voice commands and all your buttons to control that LCD screen on the right side. Volume controls down here. 
and um, favorites, so like your uh, presets basically right there as well. Um, over here is gonna be all of your HUD settings, so right there, as you can see, these three buttons, I'll get a little bit closer, it's kind of bright, but um, there's a HUD button right there, there's info, and then there's your brightness to adjust the brightness of the HUD, your mirror controls, and the heads-up display on here does a good job, so if you guys can see that, I got a little bit better view for you, but it looks really good. It's very, very clear, especially when you're doing navigation. It's very helpful. Um, but if I hit the HUD button up and down, as you guys can see, it does move it up and down, which looks, which is really easy. I'm glad that that has its own separate button. Um, it's just very easy to operate. And if I hit the info button in the middle, it switches the gauge cluster the way it looks, so you can have different RPM settings and things like that. So, uh, of course, you are going to have your. Uh, Blinkers right over there, your wipers over here. This is the, wait for it, automatic. I'm super upset about that. Um, I really wish Chevy would have sent me the seven speed. So Chevy, next time if you have a seven speed, please send it to me. But the eight speed auto is not bad as you'll see when I drive. It's really fast, it does a very good job of being an automatic. Um, of course the new 10 speed from what I hear is a lot better and uh, you'll hear all my complaints and um, praises about that later on in the video. But coming up here to the middle, guys, I really love this whole setup. I mean, you have your leather coming all over here. It goes all the way to the top, all the way through there, and it's gonna come and just surround you all the way to the bottom over here. So you, it's a really cool feeling because you're everything's definitely angled towards the driver. And then over here on the passenger side, they're just kind of there's kind of sitting way over there. So it's kind of funny, but um, they do have their own climate control settings. So you have your um, heated seats, cooled seats, and you can hit this button here to adjust your temperature, which is pretty neat that they have that. Um, you have a 12 volt here, which is nice. You have all of your controls here. You have a Grand Sport logo right here, which looks pretty cool. Um, heat and cool seats for both sides, obviously. You are gonna have all of your climate controls, your fan controls, temperature right here, which you can adjust. All of your controls for your radio, your screen settings, and if I hit this button, the screen will go down just like that. There's a storage space right behind here, which is pretty deep. And then you just hit that again and it goes back up. Super cool, it's so, it's super like James Bond. Everyone that I've shown that to has just freaked out. It's just the coolest thing ever. Um, and then of course, this is gonna be wrapped in Alcantara as well. You have your cup holders here, which I do have a small complaint about them. They just feel really cheap. I mean, you can take this thing out and when you close it, it kind of gets in the way and it's just, it's just really weird. So, I mean, if I'm spending $92,000 in a car, I want everything to feel solid, you know, but Parking brake here, mode selector, traction control in the middle. So if I switch that mode selector, it'll go from eco to tour, sport, and then track. And then once I get to my driving video, I'll tell you guys more about that. But just to sum it up, eco and tour mode are gonna be your most comfortable settings. Eco keeps at the lowest RPMs, highest gear. And um, once you go to track and sport, the magnetic shocks, they stiffen a lot. That way um, you get a more aggressive ride, the, the shift points are a lot quicker, the exhaust gets louder, and it just sounds amazing. Um, and then right in here, you are going to have your storage space, right in the armrest, it's pretty shallow, but you do have two USB ports and an auxiliary in there, and then a 12 volt right over here. So you do have that, and this feels really nice. I love the way this feels, it's super soft, and it feels great to rest your arms on, for sure, so. And then coming up here to the top, guys, you have your frameless mirror, I love that design. You do have OnStar on here. Um, you have all of this gorgeous looking quilted suede up here, or quilted Alcantara, I'm sorry. But you have all that coming here and it looks fantastic. It just gives this car that kind of next level feel. Um, you do have suede mirrors, you know, all that suede, Alcantara, whatever you want to call it. It's just running all along the roof. And then you have a little microphone here for your voice commands, which is pretty neat. And now you can take this top off, so there's latches here, there's a latch over here to the left, and then there's a latch right here in the back that you do hit all those, and the top comes off pretty easily. It's very light, it's full carbon fiber, so as you can see here, it's very easy. There's a spot it clicks in into the roof, into the, sorry, into the trunk, and then you can just take it back out, put it back on, very simple process. It may take one or two people, but it's light enough to where if you're strong enough, you can do it by yourself. So to go over this stuff just a little bit, guys, so you can toggle through a bunch of different um, 
settings here. So right now it's showing me that my average MPG was 15 miles a gallon. My best has been 24.8. So, you know, not the greatest fuel economy, but you don't buy this car for fuel economy. And I could have probably gotten a lot more than that, but I, it's, I have a week with a Corvette. I mean, would you, would you drive it <laughs> not hard? I don't think so. So going back down, fuel used, speed limits, engine hours, miles per hour, trip, monitors, how many, how many miles you have left till empty, cool things like that. And if I go to performance, you have um, all of your G meters that come up. You have an acceleration timer, oil temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage, fluid temperature, horsepower, tire temperature. This shows you how much percentage of wheel slip, the electronic, electronic limited slip differential. Man, try saying that three times. <laughs> but it shows you how much percentage uh, of power is going to which wheel. Um, your miles per hour, and then of course you can have it to where it shows you all those things over here to the right, which would be my preferred setup. But other than that, it's pretty neat. And uh, another cool thing, when you switch through your modes, it does change the layout a little bit. So if I go to sport mode, you get a slightly um, different layout that comes up. And then if I go to track mode, you get my favorite layout, which is the um, RPM sweep, which looks really good. So it just sweeps up. It looks really cool. But um, it's pretty much it for the inside, guys. You know, there's not a lot in here to show. So what I'm gonna do, shut her down, open the hood, show you guys what's underneath there, and we'll take her for a drive. So of course, underneath the hood, guys, being the Grand Sport, you don't have the Z06 motor, so this doesn't have the blower on it, but it is going to be the standard LT1 motor, 460 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque. And now, in my opinion, I think this is the best setup. I don't think that, you know, if you if you want the performance, I don't think you necessarily have to go to the, Z, to the Z06, just because this does a great job at putting all the power down and it utilizes that 460 horsepower a lot more efficiently. Also, because this is a Corvette, you get that front mid-engine layout. So the wheel well or the axle is gonna run right through here. It's gonna run right kind of in the front of that and most of the motor is gonna sit in the back. So you do have front mid-engine layout, which is pretty cool. You got your famous Corvette logo right there underneath the hood as well. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Let's take her for a ride. All right, you guys, here we are. So behind the wheel of the 2018 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport. Uh, like I said, this one does have the Z07 package. It's got the wider tires. It's going to have the electronic limited slip differential. Um, this one is the eight speed automatic. Like I said, I do wish Chevy would have sent me a um, the seven speed stick shift. But after driving this around for a week, the eight speed is actually more than adequate. It does a phenomenal job as you guys will see in just a second. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get driving guys. I'm gonna go over a few things, kind of give you my driving impressions first. So I'm gonna talk a little bit and then after I get out what I need to say, it's just gonna be straight driving for you guys. So y'all enjoy. Shifts, it makes this ridiculous just loud pop and it sounds so good so coming into this corner here the suspension on here is insane light of a vehicle and having this Grand Sport package having the Z06 style hardware I mean this car just sticks and goes I mean it's just it's ridiculous 
think compared to the regular Stingray, a lot of people are really going to enjoy this because you can put this power down so well. I mean, for example, I can be rolling in, let's say, let's say second gear. So I'm in second gear right now and I can go full throttle foot all the way down. And there's no wheel spin. I mean, this thing just sticks and goes. I mean, this has the Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires and these things are insane. It's just so good. It's so good. I mean, every expectation that I had with this car, I think it exceeded it in almost every single way. I mean, the way this thing drives is just, I mean, hands down, one of the best, most extreme feeling cars I've driven in a while. And you know, the, the shifts on here are really good. They're not, you know, they're not slow by any means, but they're not PDK Porsche fast. So if I downshift, you know, it takes a little bit on downshifts. But the upshifts, the upshifts are a lot faster than the downshifts, a lot faster. So if you're the type of person, you know, for track use, I can see this transmission not being the best on a track, in which case I would like the stick shift just because, I mean, it's got auto matching, you know, rev matching downshifts. And I mean, how much easier do you really want a stick shift to be? I mean, it, it blips the throttle for you when you downshift. I mean, that's the coolest thing in the world. So I would go for the stick personally, but for those of you who have to get the automatic from for various reasons, this does a phenomenal job and I promise you will not be disappointed. guys that's about it for this video here are some night shots of the vet and as you can see it looks amazing at night this car makes you feel just like an absolute rock star and it inspires confidence with every single turn of the steering wheel i definitely think it's worth the money and if you guys like this video be sure to click the like button below um, leave a comment if you liked it and if you want to subscribe to my channel click to the left and if you want to see some more of my videos click over to the right thanks again for watching you guys